holy before God. I need someone to cleanse me. No one is pure. No one is righteous in your sight. I need someone to save me. you guys had an awesome Thanksgiving last week. Remember that there's always something to be thankful for every single day. So let's not forget to each day pray to God and just thank him for all that he does. Okay. So last week we learned about how the prophets told about Jesus' birth. This week we're going to be learning about how angels spoke to Mary and Joseph. All right, and you can follow along in Luke chapter 1, verses 26 to 56, and Matthew chapter 1, verses 18 to 24. So let's go ahead and pray. Thank you, God, for who you are, Lord, and for everything that you've done and for everything that you're continuing to do, Lord. Thank you, God, for being so good, Lord, and forgiving and merciful, Lord. Help us, God, to learn today in this lesson, Lord, why you came to this earth, Lord. And help us, Lord, to appreciate that sacrifice you did, Lord, to die for our sins, Lord. We couldn't have done it on our own, and we, we can't do it on our own, Lord, and we're just so grateful, Lord, because you paid that price, Lord, 
you took our place and I just thank you Lord and I pray that everyone watching this lesson Lord may know how great that sacrifice was Lord that they may not take it lightly Lord please help all of us Lord to live holy life Lord and um, to please you Lord and all that we do, Lord, and that we may do everything, Lord, for your glory and that we may obey you, Lord, because we truly love you, Lord. Please, God, thank you, God, for who you are, for being so good, Lord, forgiving, merciful, Lord. Thank you. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. All right, so... Let's begin this lesson. But um, first, I wanna just say that there are two parts to this lesson today. The first part will be seeing how the angel spoke to Mary. And in the second part, we'll be seeing how the angel spoke to Joseph. So let's begin with the angel speaking to Mary. So one day, God sent the angel Gabriel to a town in Galilee called Nazareth. The angel went to see a virgin named Mary. So what that means is that Mary was an unmarried woman. She was engaged to a man named Joseph, who was from the family of King David. Now Gabriel said to Mary, Rejoice, you have found favor with God he is with you. Now Mary was troubled though. What kind of greeting could this be? She wondered. But Gabriel said, don't be afraid, Mary. You will have a son and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and he will be called the son of God. Sorry, the son of the most high. God will give him the throne of David, and his kingdom will never end. How can this be? Mary asked the angel. I am not married yet. Gabriel answered, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and God will be the child's father. The baby to be born will be called the Son of God. Remember your relative Elizabeth? She was childless, but now she is going to have a son in her old age, for nothing is impossible with God. I belong to God, said Mary. Let everything happen as you said. Then the angel left her, and Mary hurried to her cousin Elizabeth's house, and she stayed there for three months. Then she went back home. Okay, so now we'll be seeing how the angel spoke to Joseph. Now Joseph found out that Mary was pregnant, so he decided to divorce her quietly. He was a kind man and he did not want to shame Mary in front of everyone. But an angel of the Lord came to Joseph in a dream. Joseph, son of David, don't be afraid to take Mary as your wife, the angel said. The child she is carrying is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to name him Jesus. He will save his people from their sins. All of this happened just as the prophet Isaiah had said it would so long ago. He had said, See, the virgin will give birth to a son, and they will name him Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph woke up from sleeping, he did just as the Lord's angel had told him. He married Mary. So in Isaiah 4, 17, we read this. Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign the virgin will conceive, have a son, and name him Emmanuel. So the baby 
Jesus fulfilled Isaiah's prophecy as well as other prophecies of the coming Savior throughout the Old Testament. So what that means is that what Isaiah had said happened. Isaiah had said that a virgin would have a baby named Emmanuel, and that virgin was Mary, and the baby was Jesus. So what Isaiah had said happened. His prophecy, the prophecy happened. It came true. And through Jesus' life, death, and resurrection, he fulfilled God's plan of redemption that God planned from the beginning of the world. So in other words, again, everything the prophet said about Jesus came true. Jesus was born to rescue us. Before God created the world, he planned to send Jesus. And Jesus came to do God's plan to rescue people from sin. Okay? So that concludes the end of this lesson. Um, next week, we'll be seeing how Mary visited Elizabeth, her cousin. All right, so if you guys have any questions about this lesson, if there's something that you guys didn't understand, uh, feel free to ask me, and I'd be more than happy to answer these questions for you. Um, you can leave a comment, or if you see me at church, um, feel free to come up to me and ask me um, any question you may have, and I will answer them for you. All right, so keep on watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Question 1. Who did Mary go see after the angel told her the special news? A. Her mother Mary Magdalene B. Her cousin Elizabeth C. Joseph or D. Her neighbor The correct answer is B, her cousin Elizabeth. Question two, what part did Mary and Joseph have in God's plan? A, God chose Mary and Joseph to be prophets. B, God chose Mary and Joseph to tell about Jesus coming. C, God chose Mary and Joseph to build a stable. Or D, God chose Mary and Joseph to be Jesus' parents on earth. The correct answer is D. God chose Mary and Joseph to be Jesus' parents on earth. Question 3. Whose kingdom will never end? A. Peter B. Jesus C. David or D. Gabriel The correct answer is B, Jesus. Question four, how was it possible that Mary was going to have a child without being married? A, the Holy Spirit would come upon her. B, she paid the stork to give her a baby. C, she ate a bad watermelon seed. Or D, it's a mystery. The correct answer is A. The Holy Spirit would come upon her. Question 5. Who was the prophet that said, A virgin will give birth to a son and name him Emmanuel? A. Samuel B. Micah C. Isaiah 
or D, Jeremiah? The correct answer is C, Isaiah. All right, last question. What did Jesus come into the world to do? A, to make fun of people for their sins. B, to live his best life. C, to save people from their sins. Or D, to tell people that they are perfect just the way they are. The correct answer is C, to save people from their sins. Hey guys, so for this week's memory verse is 1 John chapter 4, verse 10. And it says, This is love, not that we loved God, but that He loved us and sent His Son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Alright you guys, please make sure you memorize it. You record yourselves and send it to Sister Nancy or Sister Jazz. And I'll see you guys the next week. Bye! Isaiah 9 6. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will stand upon his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful, Concealer, Mighty God. Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace.